What I enjoy doing and what I've always enjoyed doing is creating things, just creating stuff. How do you make wine and how do you make spirits in an artful way? At $15, $20 uh, a bottle for a great bottle of wine, you can have that a few times a week and, and enjoy the experience, especially if it tastes like a $40 or $50 bottle of wine, which is what we in, intend for our products. It's about flavor and texture. Uh, that's what wine's about. I'm Antonio Trevino, Director of Winemaking for Purple Wine Company, and we are at the Olivet Road Winery where we produce the Callista and Rayburn brands. We're tasting these things on a daily basis, and at some point, you've got that voila moment. You know, the wines just show beautifully, and you say, that's it. Let's capture it at this moment, and let's get it in the bottle. My name is Matthew McCann, and I am the distiller for Great and Spirits Company. We don't want to get into spirits just because we've already done wine. We want to integrate the two. We're going to put down rye whiskey and brandy, get our aged spirits going, start playing around with some of these wine barrels that we have, and seeing what flavors we can extract from those. We're starting out at this small scale, taking technology that's usually used on a larger scale, shrinking it down, putting all sorts of controls over it, and creating uh, repeatability that you can't have in most other distillation setups. Knowing how to go from small batch up to large volumes, but with the same techniques, uh, the same uh, eye to detail, that's another strong asset of a Purple Wine Company. I just love the challenge of reducing your resource use and still producing at the same volume and the same quality. We're um, in a back lot behind the winery that we call the Bee Pollinator Field. And we partnered with a national nonprofit that focuses on pollinator conservation. Everybody's on board and um, really, I think, believes wholeheartedly in just reducing our footprint, our environmental footprint on the planet and to our neighbors. People want something different. They want something more flavorful. They want a story. They want to experience the soul uh, behind the product, and they want to know what they're consuming, what they're buying. You need to listen to what the consumers are saying. That is something that Purple does very well. And constantly trying to make the best product you can. We're making sure the next product you roll out is absolutely perfect before it ever hits the shelf. Versatile enough that someone could have a glass before dinner on its own, with dinner, and then even once dinner's done, have another glass. We have products out there and people try them and they're blown away by how good they are at the price that they just paid for it. They, they, they don't even understand how we can do it. Sonoma's an unbelievable place to be doing this. I say every day I'm having you know time of my life. I'm in a great industry, live in a beautiful place, it doesn't get any better than this. I would love for this company in 50 years to be viewed as this wonderfully creative business that has these wonderful products but doesn't rest on its laurels. It continues to, to experiment, it continues to create these products that, that delight people and that surprise people. 